there are a handful of data types that are notoriously difficult to work with in Excel. One of them is dates, and the others are zip codes and phone numbers. And the reason why these types of data are challenging uh, to work with in Excel is that they look like numbers. They look like quantitative value fields. And because of that, Excel often converts them into numerical values the same way that it would convert uh, sales data or leads or clicks or dollars spent. Um, and the fact is, we really don't want to treat things like zip codes or phone numbers that way because we'll never want to apply any sort of statistical operation or aggregation or summarization to those values. In other words, it will never in a million years make sense to add two phone numbers together. Even though they're numbers and they look like values, we'd like to treat them more like text in this case. So here's an example of what zip codes and telephone numbers often look like when you load them into Excel. The challenge with the zip code field is that you may have a leading zero in a five digit zip code that's been dropped off because Excel is saying, hey, this is a value. You don't need that leading zero, it means nothing. But realistically, we know that as part of a zip code, that zero is meaningful and is important and significant. Um, similar case with the phone number. Generally speaking, you won't want your numbers formatted like a continuous string of values like this. You'd more likely want to uh, add dashes or spacing between the area code and the rest of the number, uh, depending on exactly how you'd want to format it. So the good news is that most versions of Excel actually have a special formatting category in the Format Cells dialog box. And it's right above the custom category at the bottom of the list. And within that special category, you'll find zip codes, you'll find phone numbers, and social security numbers. And the common thread between all of these different data types is that they're data types that look like values but shouldn't be treated numerically. So if we were to take these two columns, apply those special formats for zip code and phone number, we'd end up with something like this. So those leading zeros would be restored for the zip codes and the telephone number would be formatted with those parentheses around the area code, some extra spacing and those dashes before the last four digits. Now, one thing to note, if you don't have access to these special formatting options, or if you want to format things in a little bit of a different style your own way, you have a few different alternatives. You could write your own custom formatting rules, or you could use cell formulas. In this case, we could use a text function to correctly format those zip codes and formulas like left, mid, or right to format the phone number. So to summarize common use cases here, again, reformatting zips and phone numbers that were automatically converted into numbers and adding those leading zeros to force your zip codes back into a consistent five digit format. So let's practice getting our hands dirty with some real zip code and phone number data. All right, so head to your table of contents, look for that zip code and phone number demo, and go ahead and click link. And this will take you to a basic sample of customer data. We've got first names, column A, we've got last names, street addresses, and then those classic zip code and telephone number fields as well. And you'll notice that our zip code has lost its leading zero. That's why we see some four digit zip codes here and some five digit. And our telephone numbers are just being treated as a long kind of string of values uh, treated like numbers. So all we need to do here, again, is apply that special formatting rule. So let's start with zip code, select all of column D, and use control one as the shortcut to launch that format cells dialog box. And all we need to do is head down to special and zip code. So we're dealing with simple five digit zip codes. We don't have the extra four digits at the end. So this first option will work just fine. Press okay. And there you go. All it's done is restored those leading zeros in cases where it had been kind of stripped down to four digits. So that all looks good. Let's go ahead and follow the similar approach with the phone number column, column E. So control one to launch format cells, special phone number. Okay. And there you go. It's added the parentheses, added some spacing and a dash. So this should get the job done, you know, 99% of the time. But again, if you wanted something a little bit more custom, remember that you could always use functions like text, left, mid, or right to customize exactly how these zip codes and phone numbers uh, look and how they're displayed in the cells. 
If you'd like to learn more about those functions, check out my Advanced Formulas and Functions course. Otherwise, using this special cell formatting option should get the job done.